Penny Tums, Penny Pies. You simply won't get Tanya. Peens. Not quite peas, not quite beans, but something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you. Come on down to what you bake hall, where we have an ample variety. So give it me. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Bammy passes, buttery nubs. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Barnsworth. It's rate good. So that's Barnsworth. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another top-up of the letter. This has happened again. Good grief, lad! The front door is right there! We're ten stories up for crying out loud! I'm sorry, love. Mr. Mayor's in a meeting, and you won't be free for another few hours yet. But if you just sit there, I'll let you know when he's ready. All right, love. Good morning, little fella. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Oh dear. I've come down for Megan Crest Pasty. I'm but Meg's sorry, on top. sir. We're closed this morning. Because this dolt has lost my keys. And now we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. What am I like? Colin, you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. Ooh. Oh. Somewhere. Close the day. The problem with chicken. Bricks, bricks, come get your bricks. Bricks by the brick, bricks by the bag. High quality bricks by Nick, that's me. Oh no. Just the man I need. The mayor's asked me to clean up this little rose guard. You can start by getting on that mower. That is a fine statement.
do, young man? Almost done, and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. Your chance of any of them round here, though. Well, I guess no breakfast for me. I do love my mole wife. You and your wife should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I best be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. Morning. Council tax all paid. Gets that tuppence. Uh, now then, Larry, how about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint then? It's like a normal pint, but I take through my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Well, you down there, lad. Give those barrels a shake-up, won't you? Every morning I wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Ah, Larry, you were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all. On the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon.
you chaps. Ready for one last tug tug a -roo? Hmm? Grab a hold of my forum. On my mark. Three, two, one. E oh. Ooh. Mmm. What's this? Twas nary a tuppence. Twas a thruppence. Pray tell, young thruppence, where best to spend ye? Hmm? What ho, what luck? A wishing well. Godspeed, young thruppence. Oh. oh, you blooming turnip. In for a penny. It is noon and all asunder. Ah, oof, ee. I've never seen a hole as big as that before. It's no use, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Whoa! Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money until... No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for... Keep both toes on the bridge. Hands at half past seven. Never so gently. Best foot forward. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 40 at times either. It's nothing like walking this. I'm looking for toots. Or finches. I'm not for safe. Oh. Oh. We've got to get these dogs buried by ending day. Uh, that's just what we call laying pipes. Which is what. Ah, thank goodness you are here. If you're looking for something to do, that middle aisle is your right state. Can you straighten it up for us? Two for one, three for two, one for all, but for my shoe. Oh, I don't know. Hello there. I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo.
got here then? A toad and the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <coughs> Ah, a fine mess. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Built a man for here, then he crusted over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. She needs a drink, lad. She's drier than Meg's fruitcake. A snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. When you do me a favour, if you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. Come on, get into it. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Where are you going, you little way about? Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's he done? No oh, pies. wow, hold on. No pies. Hey, fish pop. Oh, no, that's what What's all this about, then? On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning. What are you going to do? Well, I know, but I need pie for tea. Well, of course you do. Why don't you ask your beverly to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do that jar of mustard that he's using. Well, there you go, then. The name. I'll be round at six. Well, you're not invited. Can I help? Oh, I. Very handsome, my dog. Such a good boy. Oh. Oh. Big pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger.
fly across a thick rope of wire. Ah, a horseshoe. Oh, my big bird. about it. I'm going to make sure they don't see me taking bananas. No breakfast and now no lunch. What's he doing in there? Oh, thank goodness you're here! You better get yourself in here dead now! Of this. Ooh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, you've come just in the nick of time! I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realised we've no meat! I can't make a pie without meat! It's the second most important ingredient. Ooh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steaks. Oh, a sunny state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. What's he got to say for himself then? Leave me be, I'm squashing cardboard boxes in here. Size of this lad's marrow. He says here that tomatoes are a fruit. Looks like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is. Fertilizer. Snails, no thank you. Cucumbers, yes please. In here. That one's got a nice set of teeth. Ah, the dingle room. A most I invasive and hostile flower. Even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the seed. Fortunately, I've caught this one before it could do any damage.
Here's some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a towel. That can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's roaming everywhere. I'll never make puzzle night at this rate. Still, I do love litter. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Great job! It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All right. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, B.A. with no butter today. Colin's gone and lost it, so it's vegan. I hope that's all right. Oh no, I'd rather shit bed. Bring back asbestos. It's fine. Aye, Kraken, what reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger? Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Is that fire still broke? Come on, I'll eat him raw. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. I don't know. Oh. Monkey pup. Oh, knocking on my door, is it? Hey, I'm in the pub! Oh, thank goodness you're here. They're everywhere. Someone must have laid them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Bumble in 
pig now. Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't eat on my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, a likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, enemy, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, kiddie. You have to never look back in. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Oh, hmm. Oh. Oh, Aye, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no-good yob, Frank. He's probably doing at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. I get lonely sometimes. Don't put me in your bin. Oh, uh, uh. quicken head, blacken lung. Smoking's best when you start it young. to see you twice. Find a shiny penny. How's that for dirty work? Apparently, he's going to Sam's Riz Room. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this, then. Seven years old, after me mum went lame. Father took her to knackers that very same evening, and I wept. When I 
was scarcely three years old. My father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in the smokehouse. It was nearly a day dangling all the embers before my sisters found me. By then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't likely see my twelfth summer, and I wept. One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run to the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. Excellent work, lad. A fine cut indeed. Now then, quite the pie, I'll tell thee now. Now I suppose all we need to do is... Right! I've forgotten the most important ingredient. Pie mix. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie mixture delivery for pies. Dot biz. Face repeats, premium mission company, power mission delivery for pies done base. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... Oh. One, two. Another two, six. Hello, this is Pasty Pete's premium pasty pastry. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no! I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mix boxes post-haste! Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin! Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blurring. What the... sure? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were in the pie industry. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work with Gross. Oh, young love. You're looking extra sweaty today, Colin. Thanks. It's actually butter. Slippy. S super slippy. You should see me get down and kill I'm like a whippy. I love whippies. Really? Yes, Jimmy. The doctor said it was a very similar bone structure. Hey, you. Oh, oh dear. Um, right. Hey, Mr. Warren? Yes, Warren? Mr. Pie Machine, please fill the shop with these easy back door. It doesn't matter now, Florence. Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. Is then down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet! Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you can get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been fired in my way. Now, look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit bigger? Oh, oh, oh.
been tipped off that someone's selling counterfeit goods. Hey, it's all for sale. It's what our Karen would have wanted. But for the life of me, I can't work out which stall it is. It's the meat and the bun of the burger that I enjoy. Oh, me weenie sausage meal. Blooming heck. What's he doing in there? Shouting. Get your head down, lad. He's gone bonkers. Rog, relax yourself. You're making a mess of the place. Don't. What the devil's gone into you, man? I never even yeah. mentioned your massive head. Yeah, it isn't massive. You're crying out loud, Rog. There's no shame in it. Gone as mad as a magpie on a Monday morning. Yeah. Grab us a sack of that brown and let's oh. get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Peelings. We did everything we could. Roger's got a big head and he's a massive belly. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Pillings, that pool isn't going to pay itself. Ooh. Sorry, mister, it's company policy. Never mind then, love. <laughs> I like it. I can't keep pretending anymore, Roger. It's just too big! Ooh. It's just too big. Too big. That will fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. It's just too, too big. big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. I'm glad that's over. I can't stand a fuss. Any sign of knockoffs? What a palaver. I've never liked to look a clock in the face. Um, Bob is a bit steep. Hang on a minute. These watches are painted on. I'm Brigadier Beantin. Hear my breath. Bring me beans or bring me death.
I'm Riggedy Beantin. Hey, my plea. I summon my six gulls back to me. Uh... That didn't work. Go find them. Dear, oh dear, young lad. Looks like we just missed him by a truncheon's breath. Ah! You bird! Yeah, one size fits small, then. Big and gob is worth doing the book. I just can't catch him, way. Juice of the bovine. Good work. Bring me the rest of them.
Excellent work, cabin boy. You retrieved my finest lieutenants. There's a bright future ahead of you on this ship. Attention! Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Kick that. Kick your knees. And her sister was so lovely. Hurry down along to the brook before Frank does himself a mischief from our hammer. Hey. Oh, look at this now. They're both in the bin. I used to go to fishes, but my doctor says the brine will give me go. Some more sausages, and I'm going to poke them through the hole. Here we go. Oh, that's all right. Here's oh, one more. Here, ah, oh, drop that one too. I'm afraid I've run out of sausages now. I'll go to the shop and buy some more. Okay, Koki Gaffner, keep your rhubarb folding on the way down. You, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Come on, let's get a 
They're open. Steady as you go. My beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. Uh, Bobby, you old chew stick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert. But there's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can. Bugger me. I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week, he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a johnny on your button. And I'll need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dogs. You better keep an eye out, lad. Stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. Shut up and have your spoon. Are you waiting to get his hand with fishing? That's nice bait box over there. Hey, ow! Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird area? That's our bed. Oh, no worries. We'll try again. So custom the door. You have to pretend you was a pencil trade. And now it's got a lead boy thing. Catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet! What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till you and Ma hears about this! I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple lad! Jasper, you puppy doing me nothing! Ah! And he said, £2.50 for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. Ooh, hey. I am 
vegetables? Sounds like he's nearly finished. I can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this old thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. That's your pipes all cleaned out. And I fixed the fryer. Oh, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. Open the business. Morning. Here's one to live by. Never put a shoe in a shoe. Hmm. Dr. Goldemort used psoriasis. He said it's terminal. I don't have psoriasis, Kerry. You just colour me in with a felt tip pen when I'm sleeping. Oh dear. Poor lad's in a right state. <sighs> oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. I've got this delicious cup of tea here, you see. But uh, I'm afraid it's as black as a bin bag in there. It, it really is. I'd go and get some more milk. I, I would, but the, the, the trouble is, I'm afraid I'm... 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 I'm milk shy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'd see what's wrong, but Bobby says I've got to stay away from it. here lad. Ah oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippies usually perk her up though. Oh you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some could you? the mall off.
Job. How do? Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. Wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and swede before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at home, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh -oh. oh, look, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof. Not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth. Oh, damn. And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning. Thank goodness you're here. It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping. But I'm bed-bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? going to see the back of you, you wee melon head. Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go. Lovely. 
I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Ah, we both do. We're tatties. Oh, aye. Yep. Forty to a bed. Dirt for breakfast. Dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up, and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Hey, you're looking much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Though we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Well, here it is. Oh... I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous too? Oh dear, oh dear. We'll be here all day. Ooh. Never had a bath before. So, do you, do you come here often? Uh, this is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. Oh. Oh my. Sleep it off down the station. Me that pickle be this. Hold on to me brush, I'm about to piss. Well, what are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. Don't kneel 
worms, it's meals for worms, and it's a bag of soil. I said, in arrears? Well, I could try, but it's your wife. Quack, quack. bubbles is it well you're in luck we just got a fresh batch in this morning they're in the back yeah look you need this <laughs> good luck an oven glove. Where else am I supposed to put it? In the oven. Oh, hello. Oh. 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 Is that real felt? How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. Oh, do you reckon, love? we still got that cabbage money. Is that Bill like Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught bootleg Bill. It's more of a Cumberland Crafts, really. Now, now, settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large. Oh, my 
this one, Charlie. Trim it down, Susan. You'll earn that shilling yet. Only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's imaginized. All together, that's. Ten bob. Bye bye, shopkeep. I think you've had enough, you agreed little piglet. Come on, yep, come on through, come on through. That's a bull. Hang on, this isn't even plugged in. This is the very last thing I wanted to happen. A whole pack of snails in the garden. Oh dear. Oh no. Going down the well. Oh dear. Hang on, where's your more wife? You know what? Never mind. A little. 
little off piece here, but another thing worms really love, a rooster's egg. It's not an easy snack, but by God is the protein worth it. down the snow. Now then, Rog, what's up with you? It's my head, Ron. Just too big. Too big? You know me. I don't reckon out can be too big. Does that know? People used to rip me for my head and all. Really? Aye. At school, they used to call me Panhead. And the kids would call me Fathead. But look at me now. I've made big my business. And I've done all right. And I've done all right and all. Your own shop. Best throwing arm in town. Your Florence is doing well too. Three jobs, and she's nearly got a B-Tech. That, that's true. She's off to uni next year. Oh, there you go. Come on, let's get oh. down pub and have a yard. The boys would love to see you. Burger a day makes me feel good. Another thrilling installment of the newspaper. Ooh, feels good. Ooh, that's good. That's enough. Fun. on that paint, Rog. <laughs> I know. It's nearly as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor says my kicking days are over. I thought we were finished for the day. But we had to come down and sort this out. I prefer them cold, personally. Uh, 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 
breakfast in bed. Dinner's ready. Love? Hey, love. Look who's come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All homemade. But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, it's really wrong. Please won't you help us fix our clock? Forget that clock and batch this mole. We need to knock him down the hall. Your gun's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is drowned. That meat is drowned. Come help with this. I need to chop up all my fish. Help me, please, I'm in distress. I just can't see with all this mess. Forget that truck, we need you more. There's too much soap spilled on the floor. That's it, young man, you've mocked enough. Now help me chop me tatties up. Help me keep the crime at bay. My dog needs stroking every day. Really, Dane, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. Hurry up and make it tick. Give that filthy mole the stick. Slice the bread and make it thin. Careful now, my arm is in. Slash me up and right in two. Steady on, this bed's brand new. Help us with the sticky floor. I think they need a little more. Hang on, why is it me itself? So? Oh, Reggie's quite unwell. Now we hit the mother lord. Send us flying down the road. Cut me head off, I'm a fish. Who taught you to drive all this? It looks like money's on the shores. You need to chop some more, of course. Easy now, let's keep it civil. Look at little Reggie dribble. Now I'll come by tea tonight. Send us flying like a kite. Thinks our clock is really wrong. Bop the ball, he's in our hall. Brush his head, he's nearly dead. Cut the cord until it's dead. Brush that box and squash these too. Eat it up, it's good for you. Bang the nail now, please don't fuss. It's better if you stay with us. Eat the fish, in the hole. Eat the sea, brush the ball. Brush the tackle, brush the box. Look at him. Oh, there you are, lovey. It should be ready for you now if you'd like to bob in. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm just about to duck into this delicious Amsani, and I've lost the mayoral mustard. Ooh! What a beauty! Oh, I've never seen one as big as that before. Ooh! What a what, man? It must be 18 inches long or more. It's such a lovely colour. I've never seen one.
Been since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat. Where has the been since I saw thee? Where has the been since I saw thee? Where has the been since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat? On Il Clemore Bartat? On Il Clemore Bartat? There's been a court in Mary Jane on Il Clemore Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou'll go and get the death of cowed. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou'll go and get the death of cowed. Thou'll go and get the death of cowed. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then we shall eat to bury thee. On Il Clemore Bartat. Then we shall eat to bury thee. Then we shall eat to bury thee. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat, on Il Clemore Bartat. Then worms will come and eat the hop, on Il Clemore Bartat. Then worms will come and eat the hop. Then worms will come and eat the hop. On Il Clemore Bartat, on Il Clemore Bartat, on Il Clemore Bartat. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms on Il Clemore Bartat. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms on Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. That's where we get us on back on Il Clemore Bartat. That's where we get us on back. Where we get us on back. That's where we get us on back. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il 